my name is Carolyn Molnar, and welcome to my extensive library of videos based on my followers' questions. You can send your question on spirituality via my website at carolynmolnar.com, and if it helps many, you may see it appear on this YouTube channel. Now, some of these uh, questions you may not agree with, so please move on. But no, the answers are based on my 40 plus years of experience as a psychic medium. These clips are for information only, so I invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thanks for watching. So a viewer asks me, what is my favorite aspect of being a medium? Hands down, helping others. Um, being a medium is connecting with the spirit world and there are those of us still here who want to know if their loved ones are okay and by providing evidence um, there is obvious relief I can tell by their voice and um, if, if I'm seeing them on Zoom then I can see by the look on their face that they are relieved to hear that their loved ones are okay they also want to know if they're around. And of course, you know, one of the things I forget to say is that when a spirit shows up, the main reason they show up in a reading is because they love the person they're, they're, they want to talk to. And that's always um, a great comfort to um, the sitter, my client. So that aspect is bar none the most... Um, important and favorite aspect of my work. Also too, I just want to be able to give um, spirit voice, you know, because they aren't heard necessarily, or people um, here can't pick up the information because they don't know the signs. So teaching my clients, you know, through my YouTube channel, through uh, psychic development and mediumship on how to give readings, and um, the mechanics of it and what you do and don't say and all that stuff, that gives me a great sense of, of uh, peace because it's not just me that's doing the work, there are others as well. The other thing too, I, I love working with my mentor, uh, Sadie. She passed away in um, 2001 and she's been with me ever since and she is a big part of my teaching program and um, I feel so connected to her and I feel like I she and I know each other better um, since her passing because she's far more in my life now um, than she was when she was here because she was in a different city and it took effort to get to see her um, but there's so many beautiful things about mediumship. Um, you know, having a loved one from the spirit world come in and say, please forgive me. I am so sorry for the things that I've done. And, and to see that that could um, start the healing process for the people that are still here. Hearing a spirit say, I'm okay. I don't have the uh, sickness anymore. I'm not tired. You know, there was no pain at my passing. Um, I'm here with you. Uh, remember when you sat down and, and you almost fell off the chair because you didn't quite sit on it properly? I was there witnessing it. I mean, those things give my sitters such comfort. Um, they also um, tell me that they they love it when I, I tell the people still here, uh, don't worry about going to the cemetery, just think about me more. That's enough for me. Um, they don't, uh, spirit does not like to be forgotten. So I give that message from spirit to those still here. Please celebrate their birthdays and their passings and please get together as family because that also encourages their spirit loved ones to be with them. I also tell um, my clients to take lots and lots and lots of photographs around the you know, anniversary of passing, birthday, wedding, um, when there's a gathering of family, because that will also give evidence of 
um, their connection to the family still here. So being able to teach my clients the, these aspects of the spirit world, uh, to be able to deliver a message and see the, the sadness um, replaced with a bit of relief is probably the greatest aspect and the reason why I do this work. Mm -hmm.